Hey guys, welcome to Big Joe Malie's World. Today I am making Christmas cracker candy. Welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Where we keep it hillbilly fabulous. Yee yee. Okay, Christmas cracker candy. This sounds weird, but it's really good. So here's what you gotta have. You have to have a jelly roll pan lined with aluminum foil, okay? You gotta have cooking spray. You have to have two sticks, unsalted butter, unsalted butter. You have to have saltines. You have to have chocolate chips, dark brown sugar, vanilla extract, and some salt. So, first thing you do, make sure your pan is lined completely with aluminum foil on the sides and everything. Take your cooking spray, spray it down good, all up the sides and everything. And then you're going to take these crackers. Now, you're gonna take, it may just take one sleeve of these. I got an extra one just in case, and it may not take all of these, I really don't know. But you're gonna line this baking sheet with these saltines. Okay, just like this. It may, you know, if it, if your baking pan is bigger, you're not gonna have enough caramel sauce. So just use, I think it's like, I don't know, 10 by 15 maybe, this baking sheet. And don't use a 9 by 13 unless you just don't have one of these. Then you can use a 9 by 13 and that will be fine. Okay, so about got it. It does just take like one sleeve of these, which is good. All right, I'm about finished with the crackers. It takes exactly one sleeve. Look at that. Well, I've got one left over. One sleeve of crackers. All right, the next thing you want to do, and here's what it looks like when you're finished. All right, set it to the side. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to turn on the heat on your little pan here. And you're going to put both sticks of butter in here. And remember, unsalted butter because we are baking. So you want to make sure that you don't use margarine, you don't use salted butter, but you want to use unsalted butter. All right, so to the butter, you're gonna put the dark brown sugar. And I'll include all these ingredients and the directions in the description. And the salt. Um, butter. Two sticks of butter, salt, and the brown sugar. You want to bring this to a boil. And you don't have to constantly stir it. It's smoking a little bit. You don't have to constantly stir this, but you do want to stir it occasionally. And after it starts boiling, you do want to boil it for about three to five minutes until you, it becomes really dark brown, and I'll be back. When your caramel sauce is ready, this is what it looks like. Now, y'all are not making true caramel, so you don't have to worry about temperatures and things like that. So, you wanna take it off the heat, and you want to put your vanilla extract in there, and watch it boil away. All the alcohol will cook off of it. Oh, that smells good, don't it? Oh, it smells wonderful. <laughs> All right. So you want to take this caramel and you want to pour it over these saltines. Just like this. Scrape it out. Woo! It's smelling good. Wow. Isn't it? Oh, real good. All right. Now, 
put that little pot aside. Take your little spatula. Make sure you cover, whoo, make sure you cover them all. Now this is hot now, so don't stick your little piggies in there because it will burn you. All right. All right, now this cools pretty fast. So you want to work as quick as you can because it's already kind of setting up on me. All right, once you get it, once you get all your crackers covered up with this caramel, you want to put this in a preheated 400 degree oven for five minutes. And I'll be right back. All right, as soon as you get it out of the oven, here's what it looks like. Let me just get it over here just a little bit. It's all bubbly and hot. It, it looks like the crackers are floating in the caramel a little bit. That's fine. So immediately what you want to do with clean hands is sprinkle these chocolate chips on the top while it's still hot, okay? While it's still hot. And it is going to take the entire bag so you don't have to measure anything. Now, this is the plain version. You can doctor this up any way you want to, but... Um, you could use white chocolate. You could use butterscotch. Well, yeah, they don't melt as... White chocolate doesn't melt as easy, but you definitely could. You, you would just have to melt the chocolate first before you put it... Can you stick it back in the oven? On. You can, yes. And you can with this, too. So, okay, once you get that on there, let it sit for a minute. It's going to start to melt. So take your spatula and very gently spread this out. Now this is time consuming <laughs> because you want to make sure that all these little um, chocolate chips get melted and it doesn't have to be beautiful because you're going to crack it at the end here. So. Kind of stir it around, just take a cracker at a time if you have to. It's smelling pretty good though. Really. This looks like this would be the fun part. <laughs> it's all the fun part. Just make sure you get it to the edges. Once it starts to melt, it, it see it goes pretty quick. See? Oh, it's just melting right along, melting right along. Now, at this point, once you get all this spread out, you can put, you know, you can use sprinkles, Christmas sprinkles, or you can put nuts, or you can put M&Ms, or I don't know, whatever you want to. White chocolate chips and kind of let them melt too and kind of swirl them around. That would be pretty. Or anything like that would be fine. Or you can break up candy canes or peppermints. Oh, yeah. Anything you want to go on the top is fine. Like I said, this is just, this is the plain version. The plain version is delicious, though. I've seen a lot of people put uh, peppermints and candy cane crumbles. Yeah, my, my, my husband, like y'all don't know him, Big Joe is not really a fan of chocolate mint. So, we don't, I don't never do that, but my husband, y'all, like y'all don't know him. Okay. All spread out. See how pretty it is? Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to go back over with the back of this spatula just to kind of spread it out just to make sure it's even. I'm going to go both ways. All right. It's looking good. All right. So, what you want to do now you want to put this in the refrigerator to cool. Um, do not put this in the freezer because the caramel and the chocolate will separate. It cools too fast and they will separate. So once this cool, once this cools, we'll let Big Joe do the taste test. Well, it's time for Big Joe to do the taste test. Here's what the Christmas cracker candy looks like. Pick it up and show them what the bottom looks like. It's a cracker. Yeah. Saltine cracker with the caramel on it. It's all set up good. Go ahead and take you about to see what it tastes like.
Mm. It's good stuff, isn't it? Mm. Mm. He licked the caramel bowl and it was delicious, wasn't it? <laughs> Amazing. That is so good, guys. This definitely gets Big Joe's. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Well, that's it for the Christmas cracker candy. Big Joe's still eating. Mm -hmm. Thanks good. for watching, y'all. I will include the recipe and all the ingredients in the description on the video. If you try this recipe, please let us know in the comments. We do like to know how you like all our recipes. Some of you have probably already tried it, and if you have, please let us know how you like it. And as always, we want to thank you for allowing a little bit of Big Joe Malia's world. Into your world. We'll see you soon, guys. Enjoy.